Welcome back to the workshop, everyone. I wasn't really going to video any of this. I've been working on this. It's a an old, probably somewhere back in the 70s, classical guitar that I picked up on the super cheap. And I wasn't going to film any of it. I've been doing a lot of work on it. It's actually just going to be gifted to someone. And I haven't put anything really other than time into this. I've done a lot of finish work. I actually had to do a neck reset because the neck angle was really, really bad. The uh, string action was horrible and, and all of that. No truss rod in this particular guitar. So I pulled the neck out and did the reset on that. Did some finish work and other things. So again, it was just my time. I kind of chalked it up to um, it's going to go to someone who hopefully will play it and Chalked it up to some experience, learning experience for me and getting the thing going um, and playable again. So again, I wasn't gonna film any of this, but thought I'd bring you in and show you. Um, sorry there, I got your hand held. Was putting the tuners back in and I can kind of show you here. So the tuners kind of go in like so. So it's putting those back in and as I was tightening the screws all of these holes are stripped out and so I'm going to take a few minutes and I'm going to correct that issue and so this probably is not going to be a long video at all but uh, and, and a lot of you probably already know this uh, little if you want to call it a trick but tip, trick, whatever you want to call it uh, to get these holes. I'm going to fill them and what I'm going to use, I, I've kind of got set up here. Um, I've got some glue, of course, some wood glue and just use, I've always used Titemon Original. I've got some toothpicks, there are my screws and I've already done the other side so I thought I'd bring you along on this side and kind of show you that process and what I mean by stripped out is I you go to screw if any of you have done this um, or I'm sure many of you have done this you go to screw the screw in and it never gets tight it just keeps spinning in the hole right it just spin 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 so the hole is or threads are kind of stripped out so let me get you on the tripod I'm gonna fix that so that the screws will be nice and tight when we go to put the uh, tuners back in, everything will be held in place where it's supposed to be. So let me throw you on the tripod, get you positioned so you have a good angle to kind of watch what I'm doing here. And I'll be back with you in just a second. All right, I got you back there and uh, I've got you zoomed in about as far as I can and still be able to work here. I'm uh, trying to balance working on the guitar and also letting you see what I'm doing here. And, and not have camera and stuff in the way. So, um, and let me just demonstrate for you real, really quickly so you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. I'll just screw one of these in. And when it gets down here, it see, it never tightens up. It just keeps spinning and spinning and spinning. So there we are, I'm trying to tighten it. It never tightens, it just keeps spinning. So let me, pull that back out of there. So that's what I mean by the hole being stripped out. And again, a lot of you might already know that this little trick, uh, if you want to call it that, trick of the trade. Um, but I'm going to take, I've got, and I've already done the other side, so this Q-tip has been broken off already. And the Q-tip will fit down in the hole. This one actually fits really well in these holes. So. What I'm gonna do, I've got my little bit of glue here just spread out on, or squirted out on this little piece of plastic. I'm gonna take a little bit of the wood glue like that. And then the toothpick goes down in the hole. And so once it's in there and bottomed out securely, just break it off. And that's all there is to it. I've got a 
paper towel here, so a little bit of water, just to clean up the glue squeeze, the, the glue squeeze out from around the hole. And that's one of them done. So that's pretty simple um, fix. Now it does leave a little bit of a raised area there, but I just take a, a razor blade and just trim and, and just bring that down flat carefully, of course. You don't want to mess up the finish on the guitar, even though it's under going to be under the tuners. You don't want to mess it up. So let me go ahead and, and do these others because just it's quick and easy. Just and, and what'll happen that just gives some fresh wood for the uh, screw to bite into. And then you don't have a problem with anything being loose in the headstock and, and rattling around and not holding like it should and all of that. So there we go. That's really all there is to patching those. A little bit of the glue that squeezes out. So I just take a damp paper towel and clean that up a little bit. Dry it off and there you go. All four of those screw holes are ready to go. I, uh, like I said, I need to get, um, I'll get a new fresh razor blade and I'll make sure that everything is flush there. So that'll take, you know, just a couple of seconds. I need to give the glue just a little bit of time to set up. Like I said, I've already done this side. Make sure I got you in the camera here already done this side so I could probably show you let me grab a, a razor blade here so again just a fresh new razor blade and then just the toothpicks are, are soft wood so you don't have to when you go to put the screws in you don't have to pre-drill and all that you can just put the screws back in and it, it just tightens the holes up enough for for them to grab and and get tight so and that's all there is to that you can see I just took the razor blade it just takes a couple of seconds there to make sure everything is nice and, and flat there and again I use a, a new razor blade because I want the uh, the sharp edge of, of the razor blade and so now let me just show you this real make sure again I let me step back make sure I got you in the camera there well oh, I almost don't let me reposition sorry about that amateur camera work there I'll try to get you in the frame all right so let We'll slide this in here. Those are in there nice and secure. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And so now I can get the screw started. Hopefully I can get the screw started anyway. Never thing never works when you want to when you're on camera. There we go. And you, I can already feel the bite. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll tighten all of these or get all of these started and then tighten them. But I just wanted to show you that process. So now when I put the screws in, they're going to be nice and tight and don't have to worry about the tuners moving around and being loose and rattling in the headstock. So I just wanted to bring you along for that. There you go. I just wanted to show you that little tip. I'm going to let you go and get this project finished and so it can uh, get where it's going and 
all that kind of stuff. So thanks for joining me in the workshop today, and hopefully this tip helps you there somewhere down the road.